Hello again. Um, I've seen a lot of questions from uh, newish owners of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision lately about IOC or Intelligent Orientation Control. That's the mysterious home lock and course lock that, uh, that people have obviously read up about that you can uh, maybe access if you change from vision mode to NASA mode. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about how you do the change. This is more to explain what these modes actually offer to make you decide if it's something you want to um, you want to add onto your repertoire and, and, and load up via the changes that can be made in the system, in the assistant. So intelligent orientation control, what does it do? Okay, there's two modes. You've got um, course lock and home lock. Let's do home lock first. Here we are, as we, we are all, of course, Jedi pilots. So uh, this is us, uh, represented by uh, Luke Lego Skywalker. Uh, and this is uh, us handling something here with the transmitter and controlling. Uh, now our vision, represented by my little Hubsan X4 here, is uh, more than 30 feet away from us. And um, you'll notice it's facing towards us, which is pretty confusing for some people maybe, because if it's facing towards you and you hit left, then um, it's going to move to the right as you look at it. If you hit right, it's going to move that way because it's facing towards us. And if it's facing sideways, that can be even more confusing. If you hit home lock, what will happen is no matter what orientation the uh, Phantom 2 Vision is in, you pull back on the right stick, it will come towards you. It could be facing this way, it could be facing this way, it could be facing head on, and if you pull back, it will come towards your home location. If it was over here and you did the same, pull back here. Left and right will make it um, prescribe an arc around your home location. Again, doesn't matter what orientation you're in, left, right, then left will prescribe that arc. So you can see why that, that could potentially be a bit useful. Um, a lot of people say, oh, wow, that's great. I, I lose orientation. I can just flick it into home lock and, and I don't know which way it's pointing. It will come back. My personal advice would be learn to fly without any of these aids first um, and, and sort of learn to, to keep your orientation. Otherwise, you know, if you don't have a satellite lock available to you for some reason at some point, uh, thank you, dog. Uh, these aids are not going to be available and then you're going to be in a, in a world of hurt potentially. So, you know, use it maybe, think of it more as a get out of jail free card or if you have a specific photographic use, that might be another reason to do it. But, you know, proceed with caution, which is why I'm not immediately telling you how to go into it. Um, course lock is a little bit different. Um, I did tell somebody I was going to steal their idea of, of describing it because they put it on the internet, more for them. Um, if... Home lock is a bit like the spokes of a wheel. Wherever your craft is on the outer rim of that wheel, it will pull towards you like spokes. Course lock is like a grid. So let's say we set off with our nose orientation set to this way, okay? And we fly away um, over here, pointing this way. As soon as we flick course lock on, the grid is gonna sort of um, come into play and, and the grid is gonna be aligned where our original nose was orientated when we got our first lock. So now if I push the stick forwards, it's going to fly in the grid forwards as it was pointing when it started. Backwards, left, and right. So again, you might find this useful in a photography sense. If you know it was set up this way and you want to do a tracking shot, you're facing this way, you can then stick forward and it will track along that original grid. But you can see why this could be confusing. If you're not if you're not clued up as to how the original orientation was, you could get yourself into a, all sorts of confusion by the controls not responding. And I think this is the main reason why DJI didn't put this in for the vision initially um, and why they describe it as a, an advanced feature. I don't think it, it is particularly advanced, but I, I do agree that, you know, it's one more thing to think about and um, and you shouldn't necessarily delve uh, into all that too soon until you've learned to fly it comfortably in GPS mode. Anyway, I hope that, um, I hope that helps. It's just a very brief and silly little demonstration, but it might give you an idea of what those modes do and, and, and whether or not you feel that you have a, a need for them uh, going forward. Any questions, um, stick them down below as usual. Um, and thanks very much for watching.